Okay, here we go with an attempt to record myself on video here. Um, seems to be fairly decently in focus. One of my interests is this video camera here. I was just thinking, yeah, she asked me, she wanted to see some of my house, so I thought I would videotape some of my house here and uh, send it on to you. Um, trying to look directly into the camera right now so you can see my eyes. And I'm going to look at myself over in the little viewfinder. And I'll look back into the camera here so you can see me looking directly at you. Mm. Well, anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you a little bit of my house. It's nighttime here, obviously. Um... Here is the television. I got a sneeze here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, gosh. This is the living room. You can see my little ceiling fan up there. There's the area above my kitchen. I haven't quite decided what to put up there yet. Uh, the most recent suggestion I had was to put some little pottery items and some fake ivy, you know, that sort of plastic ivy that you can kind of hang down. I think that would kind of make it look classy. Some folks in um, other units in the development, this is my kitchen over here, have put in some wallpaper border along the top between the seat the ceiling and like you know that sort of area let's see if I can kind of point it out for you here like from about there down to the top of the beer glass there so this is a six pack of Carolina grape soda from the 1993 championship game Basketball, that is. NCAA champions for 1993. There's my little, not little, it's a pitcher. It says Adolf uh, Coors on it. You know, that's Adolf Coors, who was the one of the charter members of the John Birch Society. My little various beer mugs and stuff. My little beer glasses there. That's that's a story in and of itself. Ruskai, the Russian beer. I bought that in Chapel Hill one night and at, from a place that no longer exists. It's called uh, was called at the time Fowler's Grocery Store, one of the landmarks in Chapel Hill. Um, bought that out of uh, Big Bertha, which was a big cooler that was full of beer. And of course, there's Billery beer. Hmm, okay, I think I told you about this one. This was my little quark mug. Bob found that, my stepfather found that for me at a auction and gave it to me. There's some Star Trek mugs he found. Anyway, here's my kitchen here. This is my stove. I just figured out that I can set it to turn on at a particular time. That cook time and that start time. You can see right now it's about 12:37. This is Saturday evening, September the 10th. Well, I should say Sunday morning, um, September to the 10th is what I ought to say. It's 12:38 in the morning, as you can see here. Anyway, here's my sink, and let's see if I can back up here and give you a little context here. Here's my little um, dinette set. I picked this up just before I moved into my apartment in 1998 at a place that's since burned down. Um, it was a used furniture store. Uh, it's a very nice piece. I wish I could polish it up some because it's kind of tarnished, as you can see. Um, kind of tarnished, but 
Um, I don't remember. I picked it up for something like 150 bucks or something like that, and it was a good deal at, at the time. And I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And here's a plant. This is a tropical plant that I picked up uh, at Home Depot one night. There's a recliner. That's from my grandmother. You can see a lot of the stuff I have is sort of second hand. And there's a lamp my stepfather gave me for my birthday. It's actually in the same set as this lamp here. You can see up there the picture that I took of the Capitol uh, when I was an intern on Capitol Hill in 1989 for Congressman Rose. And there's some pictures from my time on Capitol Hill as an intern. And there's a couch. Bought this sh shortly after I moved my into my apartment in 1998. It's secondhand, obviously. Um, this is where I sit mostly, right here, as you see. And unfortunately, the springs in the couch show that that's where I <laughs> sit most frequently. Anyway, uh, you see this board right in front of me here. This is where I eat most of my dinners. Um, so I, I, I can put hot stuff on that and it not burn the coffee table. This is a coffee table. I grew up with this coffee table uh, in our house on Buckeye Drive. I have refinished it. What you see now is the refinishing. Um, what happened was I had this in my apartment at Carolina Beach and had a piece of computer equipment on it that had some sticky stuff on the, the underside of it. Well, unfortunately, some of the sticky stuff and all the humidity and the cha temperature changes stuck to some of the finish, and when I pulled it off, rip! Well, <laughs> um, that sort of did in the finish of the, the coffee table, so... Um, shortly after I moved into my house here, I refinished it. Um, it's sort of a light refinishing. I like it. It's not a professional job, but it's been well enough for me. And here's out onto my porch here. Let's see if I can get the cinema verite here. I'm gonna open up. This is my porch. I'm walking onto my porch here. An idea what this place is like. That's the place next door. It's for rent. Dave Marguccio owns that place. An idea what this development looks like. It's night here. Obviously, it's after midnight. We just got off ICQ. There's my grill. This is where I grill a lot of steaks and stuff with hickory smoked. chips. There's my citronella candle, which I've used a little bit, as you can see here. There's my Carolina Blue director's chair, which is on its second set of um, backings and the seat, previous versions of which wore out. It's kind of night here, so you can't see much, but my air conditioning unit over there. Probably can't see that. It's too dark. I have to do that in the daytime. <sighs> and there are my gas logs. Gosh, I love these things. Obviously, it's summertime right now, so I don't have them going, but... And there are the videotapes that I took to Kentucky and brought back. I'll have to put them back out at some point. Okay, I'm going to cut the light here in. Close the blind. 